Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, let's do it. I've been here for about an hour already, so good morning and welcome to a video in which this time I am not half asleep. Last time it was like, ah, oh, that didn't work. So this time we actually set the alarm clock really early, got here just about right, and look at what I've got. I've got loads of B-roll later to edit in. So, um, is this the first? No, I call it second, third, I don't know. Anyway, um, I need a better plan if I'm going to become a car YouTuber. So good morning, Don Sambandarapsa here. Uh, you may remember me from such endeavors as almost 10 years with the, almost 10 years with the Bangkok Post database. And I'm here at the Subaru uh, and Mitsubishi Evo all-wheel drive meetup. So, yeah, loads and loads and loads of, and I've lost my monitor, doesn't matter. I see anyway. So loads of nice Subarus with hooks hoops. These two are really nice. Um, I remember last year, just over a year now, at the Cars and Coffee event. I met, we met these on these two, these very two cars. Met them on the um, expressway number nine ring road going towards uh, Khao Yai. And uh, wow, they were going fast. I was, I could go fast, but I guess some people value not having a speeding ticket more than others, but lovely S202 bug eye. De definitely bug eye is my favorite of the GD variants. I don't know why people don't like them. I think they're lovely. Anyway, so Subarus on this side. Let's do the Subarus first and then I'm gonna go around and then we can look at the Evos. Now that won't really make much sense in terms of uh, walking around. Really. Yeah, and the person who invited me here, X, I, he's nowhere to be seen. He was like bugging me until last night. Are you coming? Are you coming? Anyway, so, ooh, this is, this is always nice. Nice homage to Colin McRae. Only problem is, there are always two names. Where's the driver name? Anyway. Nice. VA, nice VA with the FA engine, just like mine, but this is later one with new bumper, and a VA STI, sounded lovely when it came in, uh, well they all sound lovely when they come in, another WRX, and let's keep going, so, it's getting a bit warm, and as you can see, people were now just in there watching the corners in the shade. No, I don't know, I just, you know, Hawkeye, blob eye, blob eye with the nice yellow bow tie thing we jig, another blob eye, another bow tie, maybe I should get a bow tie, ooh, nice rig, what is that, that is, whatever it is, it's a nice rig, oh, put it down too, that makes a lot of sense. I was just posting on Facebook the other day that I think small rig DJI Ronin and uh, don't know what camera it is, probably can't tell. Anyway, I was posting on Facebook the other day that small rig should actually make car accessories and make it so much easier. You know, if they made a uh, you know spoiler mount points or things like that, you know, so you could mount easily mount. Here's my car. Here's my car, which I had to borrow from my brother because he's um, his car's broken, awaiting um, parts. Okay, fun fact: uh, you see the terrible marks on the windscreen. So the VA, this one, this generation Subaru. So he's got two cars in his family. He's got the VA Subaru and SJ Forester. The VA, they're, they're exactly the same. I mean, the steering position, steering wheel, instrument cluster, everything they're exactly the same. However, the VAs have the indicator stock on the right, like a Japanese car, whereas the Foresters and also the BSE have the indicator stock on the left. Which is why, he tells me, we've got all these marks on the windshield. Uh, anyway, because he sits down, it looks like the same car, but it's not. Okay, this is another nice blob eye, and this one I really like, GC, a Tamiya GC. I wonder if they actually put the hood, the vent, is it a functioning vent? Maybe it is, yeah. Nice, oops, 
do you see? Ooh, what's that? Oh, just a, a GRSTA. And ooh, here's an Evo. Evo 10 is, I think. Sounds nice. Sounds normal. Oh, oh earlier you missed it. Um, there was a. Uh, okay, let's do that side and then let's go back to the Evos. S H Forester. Oh, it's got that one too. It's got the weird peeling grill which Ness has got as well. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, nice SH Forester. Now, okay, let's look at the other cars for a while. I'm going to do this as a one take and then, I don't know, maybe do another extended version with all the B roll edits. Uh, this sounded lovely. RX7. It was like. 13B Bridgeport RX7 FD. Huge intercooler setup. That sounded lovely. Uh, 200 SX. Clean, neat. 180 SX, obviously. Sorry, my bad. You can tell from the personalized number plate. S205. Is it S25? Is that something at S25? Ooh, the. Another GIRS, another one left early this morning. And uh, uh, Proton, whatever that is. It's got a turbo, top mount intercooler. Is it Proton? No idea. Okay, ooh, this, this also sounded lovely. So earlier this morning, this car and the, uh, there was a black, uh, what you call it, I've got B-roll, put that B-roll in. Uh, there was a black uh, Audi R8. They were kind of doing a, a rev off. Well, the, the Audi was trying to do it. This guy was just trying to park. Sounds lovely. Millennium Jade R35. This is the latest version, is it, with, with the newest bumper and the new lights there, like there. The current 2024 model year. Is it T-Spec? I think it's a T-Spec. Anyway. Is that a 350 or a 380? Is that the... It's the 350 with a body kit, or is it actually the 380 limited edition one, which was the souped up 350? I have no idea. Anyway, oh, another STI, S209. Uh, best way to know if it's a real... It's, it's got STI brakes, I'll just say. Um, and another STI... It's got STI lights. STI. Okay, those wheels are always 100,000 baht. I've tried to buy, buy them. I've asked for the price. They're like, I think 90 or... Yeah, they're expensive. Was it 100,000 or 190,000? I don't know. I remember they were crazy expensive. Sounds lovely though. EJ sounded so good. I mean, if I had known, I might have got a EJ25 rather than FA20 VA myself. Sport Cup. Okay, low C heat. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, okay, that's that kitted out, uh, kitted out 190, which I think I've seen in so many videos. Lola stripped and like wide body. Like, how wide body can you be, wide body? And it's like, 
almost DTM. I'm black on Instagram. Hmm. Might check him out. Absolutely gutted interior. Lightweight, 190, manual obviously. Didn't sound that crazy when it came in. Volvo. What is it with Volvo wagon people who keep coming to these events? I mean, I drive a Volvo. They're really boring. But they're not enthusiast cars, are they? Uh, CLS, watch them. Oh, that's gone. I was going to show you the Sora. That was a lovely Sora. Okay, insert B-roll. Um, It was like that super duper dark purple, which, you know, is black at nearly every uh, angle, except when the sun hits it, like spot on. It was here, so I don't know why I'm showing you an empty parking spot, but the sorrow was here. And it looked lovely, it's just like, you know, when the sun hit it, it turned into a shimmering purple. Okay, this is good. This is the Evo Land. Now, I've been um, uh, practicing this a few times when I was doing the, the round this morning. <clears throat> Rudolph the Red Nose Evo had a very shiny turbo and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows. I think that's the point isn't it because as you can see he's got a giant big well not quite shiny turbo but the um, but the charge pipe is shiny well anyway got a nose got antlers and got a plug glue to it that's not this Look at this one, um, another Evo. I don't know my Evos anyway, so it's an Evo that much I know. Just look at the cleanliness. It's like, you could, you could just about eat off that cam cover or you could drink out of that um, uh, antifreeze bottle. I mean, you couldn't, but you'd probably die, but just look at it. Crackle, finish, charge pipe. How do people keep their stuff so clean? I just do not understand. I mean, it is immaculate, it is spotless. It's cleaner than my bedroom. But, I don't know, people who know me are saying that it's not saying much. Anyway, loads of Evos, Evo, Evo, Evo. Okay, this one I really like. So, huge catch can, uh, vent out into the atmosphere, which I think technically is illegal in most countries, but who cares, this is Thailand. And uh, strut. Strut bracing. Love the idea. Um, so it's a tension only. So you so apparently ooh. And, uh, EJ Subaru. Subaru, as um Sapio said. Okay, so you know how uh, Subaru how STI have all these kits where they're like replacing like strut pieces with pieces of wire. So there's a tension one way. It's kind of like it. Ooh, M, M Tron ECU. Just saw that one. Anyway, I wonder if it works. So you're supposed to get better handling and a more comfortable ride. Another might. Another Evo. Not that special. This one. Not a bit, bit dirty. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ugh. Getting a bit hot now. Where's the coffee hours? Okay, Kun X. If you are listening to this at a later date you invited me here i skipped i skipped the other event to be here and you're nowhere to be seen thank you uh okay let's keep going another evo 9 obviously from the fake number plate japanese number plate and civic type r fn fn right i think it's fn or is it fd no that's it. fd is the one is it the FD? I don't know my Civic Type R's, but this is the one which has the hated um, torsion beam rear suspension, which is slower than the one before it. But it was the last of the high revving VTEC ones. So, on the one hand, it's a steal because it's relatively cheap. On the other hand, the handling is like worse than the one before it. But since the one before it goes for about you know three, four million nowadays, and this one can be had for about two million, yeah, you get a newer car, better interior, much bigger boot in, inside. 
but the handling sucks. Still sounds good though. And this guy I saw on the way in. He a uh, nice Corolla. Wonder if it's, wonder if it's all wheel drive or just a, you know, just a livery. Okay, Sylvia. Did I, did I show you the Sylvia? Oh, this one, this one, this one. Salika. Salika. Is it Salika or Salika Supra? Yeah, it could. This is like not the best condition, but it has so much potential. I would like, you know, I know. My, one, of, one of my cousins was always looking for one. Yeah, do I. If you're listening, Christina, this is something that, that you want, right? Old. Is it a Supra or is it Salica Supra? Well, Salica, I have no idea. It's old. It's nice. Needs a lot, uh, quite a bit of tender loving care, but it has so much potential. S15. Spec R. He's going for the two, two to mid two millions. It pains me to see you know how these cars are being abused as drift cars in Europe and in Japan and here they're like still it's pretty much the same price as a brand new WRX huge and endless brakes and another Evo of course we are in Evo lad okay let's go over there to the last side and then let's look at all the other Mitsubishi Mitsubishi Car oh, people, they always, we kind of always, uh, kind of always, uh, sorry, distracted by the people trying to do a catwalk against the sunlight. If you swatch positions, relative positions, it would be so much better because you were, you were shooting into the sunlight and that never works. Oh, my pet peeve. People who use a flash in the daytime, in bounce mode, and what are they bouncing off? They're bouncing off the sky, of the clouds. You know, how many thousands of feet up there? And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I've seen people do that, but anyway. That's me being an old film guy talking. With film, you don't get to make those, um, you don't have the luxury of wasting shots. Okay, nice. What's this one? So, Evo 789, I can't tell the difference. That's not a 10. How check coil packs, interesting. Hmm. I still got a cable throttle buddy. I mean, nice, but if you're gonna go this far, why don't you just change it to a electronic throttle buddy and uh, you know, you get so much less turbo lag. So I've heard, so I've heard. Okay, now I'm doing what I told people not to do, is shoot into the sun, but that's because of the way everything is. Ooh, what's this? Nice, nice, nice. Evo, Evo, ooh, Evo wagon. Yeah, family guy. If you're a family guy, you need a car, this one's nice for you. 700, 4999. Now, we don't have Peugeot's coming to the meetup, but there's a Peugeot dealer literally just across the road. So that's why we've got Peugeot's here as well. Okay, I think I'm just about done. Last round of Evos. And then, let's see if we can catch someone to talk to. Where's DJ SX? I'm trying to find the guy who invited me here, who bugged me to come here. Still don't see him. Yeah, I think it's become hot enough that I'm the only one actually hey okay, evos evos yellow evos yellow white yellow white works so desmond rega masters real desmond rega masters i hope so yeah, nice coat nice wheels i mean classic oh the, the red one here with lovely no it's gone i think anyway uh We do this. Okay, let's redo this. So I lost about a third of my footage because my camera overheated. Thank you very much, Insta360. You obviously designed it for use underwater and in snow, in action, where people are going fast with a lot of wind, but not in this kind of weather. It's Bangkok. In winter, 
It's probably mid thirties. And look at the sun. Look at the sun blazing. Anywho, uh, picking up at the anywhere I lift off garage Evo. Lovely wheels. I love these advanced. Nice brakes too. Alcon. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, so great uh, on brakes. OZ on white on yellow. <laughs> And there's another one which I really liked. HKS Advan. Nice brakes though. Okay. Another blue. Now there's a one which. Where was it? So I lost. Okay, anyway. Uh, Evo 9, I guess. I don't know my Evos. I'm a Subi guy. Subis. Subi says hi. Subi say hi. Anyway, let's keep going. Evo, Evo, Evo White. Yeah, Desmond. Yeah, this was the one I, I liked. You kind of, kind of tell, you know, when wheels are, yeah, you know, just that little bit more than generic. Desmond Vega Master Evos. Not sure if they're real, but they look nice. Somehow they just like they just work. I mean, compare it to, I mean, Advan's are nice wheels, but they don't look as special somehow. Anyway, okay, this time I'm going to keep an eye on. Oh, that STI is going. Goodbye, STI. Anyway. Uh, Okay, now this was nice. Let's just go over here. Loads of Evos, and there's an Evo wagon as well in yellow. Another Rally Art Evo, I don't know, six, seven, five. I have really no idea. Two Peugeots, not because there are Peugeots coming to them, can eat, but there's a Peugeot dealership literally just across the road, so I guess these are stock for sale. 308, 208. Nice number plate. 8606 8222. Now, this is what I really liked. Not just the number plate, but the actual car. I mean, if you're a family guy, you need space. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I like it. it looks good. So, who won something? I think someone won something. Car guys are so. Okay, half the guys left. This was like packed early on when I lost it. Anyway, so thank you for listening to me rant. I hope this video was fun. I'm going to try and make do more of them. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to sort out the workflow. So I'm shooting everything except the stills. Well, I don't know. I haven't done post processing yet, but I'm shooting everything on an Insta360 X3. Seems to be okay. I mean, this camera seems to be okay in bright sunlight, which is what we've got. What it doesn't work, where it falls flat on its face, is overheating. So I've overheated once, so you can't really do a long take. So maybe about 15 minutes is maximum per take. And uh, ooh, let's see. This, this one's nice. This, this guy's nice. This guy's nice. And he's not coming this way. He's not coming this way. Nice Subi. Wait, that's a Subi? I thought. Uh, maybe I thought that was a guy. I think I, I, think I missed. I didn't find enough proto on there. Yes. Anywho, so, yay, they've given out all the stickers and the cups. Oh, quite a few more cars have arrived. Okay, you can see one car which is like tucked in, that's mine, because uh, it's actually lifted by about one inch. My, the roads around my place are so bad. I've actually, ooh, another RS3. They should just together, RS3. Orange and green eyes three uh, just earlier. Ooh, nice. Ooh, the leaving Evo and uh, GR. GR. So what is this for? Okay, this is GR Impreza. GR series chassis for Impreza. Now this one. Ooh, that's the new. These ones, uh, Toyota GR86. The ones which you can't turn right, otherwise the engine blows up. Mm. Nice car though. I might even go for one one day, but let's just wait until they solve the engine oiling issues first. Because right now you're sitting on a ticking time bomb. You can't turn right because you lose oil pressure and then bam. Okay, I think that's about it. I'm going to call it a day. Thank you again for this. Oh no, so that's not, that is a proton. I think. Oh, they're leaving. Actually, so many people leaving. I should go to the front and see what I can grab. 
in terms of leaving shots. Okay, bye for now. I'll do that and I'll probably insert it before the end or something. I'll think later. Okay, thanks, thanks for listening. Bye for now.